Today, we're in one of the most densely populated places on Earth. This global financial center located in Asia has always been on my bucket list. Spick and spam streets, a slick metro system, and a skyline to die for. You guessed it, welcome to Singapore. Look at that, man. <laughs> new place, new vibes. It's always good being in a new place, exploring. I get the feeling that Singapore is a very, very orderly city. I mean, they have some very strict and peculiar laws. For example, um, it's illegal to chew gum here, so you won't see any convenience stores selling any Wrigley's Spearmint gum, um, as that can get you in big trouble. And it just strikes me as a very clean, tidy, orderly place. That's so funny, there's like quite a few middle-aged women with their phones on selfie sticks um, recording themselves dancing. I don't know if they're just making videos for themselves or they're live streaming to other people, but it's great to see people with confidence. You should actually really do your research before coming here as an expat because you can get into trouble for a multitude of different things that you probably wouldn't in your own country. For example, connecting to someone else's Wi-Fi is considered hacking here and you can get a fine and go to jail for it. Feeding pigeons, yes, feeding pigeons is considered a crime here. As I already said, chewing gum, smoking in public. There's a lot of different things here, which again, leads me to believe it's a very orderly country. You can't really step out of the lines too much. Um, but as long as you're just being an upstanding citizen, you can obviously have a wicked time here in Singapore because it looks like there's loads to do. And the last one of particular interest. Now, if you're somebody who wakes up, you go and have a shower, you want to walk around in your own space, naked, free of any judgment from anybody else, well, you ain't allowed to do that because if anybody spots you, they can report you to the police. That's actually illegal, so don't be doing that, friends. Look what I've just found perusing along the lakeside here. There's literally a mini golf place right on the side of the lake. That's pretty cool. Third time lucky. <laughs> oh, that is just so typical. The crown jewel building on the lake is of course an Apple store. Shock. And it's a pretty cool one at that, to be honest. Wow. I'm actually looking to pick up the new iPhone 14 Pro Max. However, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna have any in stock. Let's see. Have any iPhone, uh, iPhone 14 Pro Maxes in stock? No. Shock. <laughs> I've asked at like 20 different stores, don't have any. Uh, it's hard to get your hands on right now, right? Never mind, thank you. One thing you're absolutely not gonna find a shortage of in Singapore is luxury shopping malls and luxury brands. This is a city and a country with a hell of a lot of wealth and you bet your ass every single big brand is here. Um, not that I will be shopping in them unfortunately, but I've just seen on the uh, sign over there that there is actually a casino this way and that reminds me that gambling and poker, live poker is actually uh, legal here in Singapore. However, unfortunately, the stakes are a little bit high for me, so I will not be paying the casino a visit. <laughs> I would love to, but I can't. Ladies and gents, it's about time we took the drone off again, right? just found whilst I was flying the drone um, that there's literally, you know those kinds of man-made lotus flowers? There's actually an observation deck on the top, which is so cool. I'm gonna orientate myself and head there because I'm sure that gives you a pretty good view of the uh, crown jewel of the city, Marina Bay Sands. So let's head there. Man, drones are so good. Imagine someone 10 years ago told you you're gonna have a flying camera in the sky. You're gonna have a bird's eye view in your backpack 
of anywhere you are. It's absolutely incredible. So I wouldn't have found those. I wouldn't have known about that if it weren't for that DJI drone. So I appreciate that technology very much. <sighs> I found them. I don't know if you need to pay to get up, but we'll find out. Here they are. Jesus. They look absolutely world class. And at night time, all lights shine all over them as well. Um, as so I've seen by the pictures. This is the place. Seems you do have to pay for it. Let me find out how much it is. Where is, is there a place you have to pay for a ticket to get in here? Yes, you have to go to the main ticketing counter. Okay, do you know how much it is? $14 per person. Okay, all right, thank you. $14, so it's about, it's not too bad, not too bad. Um, let me decide whether I want to do it though. Okay, so it's um, 14 Singapore dollars to actually go up there. However, to be honest, I don't know if it's really worth it. And I've got a very, very limited time here in Singapore, um, less than 48 hours. So there's a lot to see, there's a lot to do. Um, I'm not gonna head up there. However, it's nice to see it from down here too. Absolutely, it's a beautiful area. I mean, even though it's man-made, they've like intertwined like natural plants and bushes up the lotus so it's pretty nice um i've got to say and to be honest if you haven't been to this area of singapore and taken a selfie have you really been to singapore that's the question <laughs> i'll let you answer that one for yourselves i was literally sat here for like 10 minutes waiting for my time lapse to finish and i almost fell asleep <laughs> it's so damn relaxing here like you just got the sounds of nature it's really nice temperature like 26 degrees or something slightly sunny and man it i had to get up before i fell asleep man maybe it's all that food i had for lunch <laughs> essentials I only, oh, I, don't, I don't have cash. All I wanted, man, was a bottle of water and I don't have any cash on me. I was relying on my card. So no liquid refreshment for me. And I'm thirsty, very thirsty. God damn. Oh, turns out Shake Shack was my only option. A restaurant in the middle of this botanic garden <laughs> oh, and I needed some liquid refreshment. I got myself some great Fanta and a bottle of water. Far, far overpriced, but that's what happens when you're in the middle of a botanic garden, I suppose. Goodness. For whatever reason, they don't do all the grape stuff in, uh, in England. And they have so much grape stuff in Asia and I absolutely love it. I'm a big fan. Let me know down in the comments if you are too. Oh, let's go. Everything so far has been a plus here in Singapore. I'm getting a really nice vibe being here. I could seriously see myself living here. It's a very green city. It's got a lot of nature. It's very clean. The air feels clean as well. I suppose the only downside to Singapore that I've found so far is the price of everything. I mean, it's a very, very expensive place to live. You need to be earning a very comfortable um, wage to live here for sure. It's really striking how international this city is. When you're walking around, you hear so many different languages, you know, from the Middle East, from Asia, from Europeans to, you know, dialects I've never even heard of. It's really cool. Man, I'm just walking along this bridge here and check this out, man. Look at the state of that view. That's fantastic, isn't it? Wow. I've walked around to the other side of the lake and I'm just walking out onto the view across the lake onto the Marina Bay Sands building. And uh, I'm looking forward to this. Let's have a look. Holy moly, look at that man. I kind of wish I was here in a few hours time when it's all lit up. Let me get the other lens on so you can see this. Wow. I just looked 
to see how much it would be to stay in the hotel that's in this building. And it's around six to 700 US dollars. Ouch. <laughs> now, if you guys want to give this video a like, maybe, maybe, just maybe, the next time I come to Singapore, I'll have a few more subscribers and I'll be able to uh, come back and do a video in that hotel because that would be awesome. <laughs> I actually looked, it's $700 and it's sold out, man. Sold out in the middle of October. Damn. There's some people here with some money. Okay, it seems I've found the selfie spot. <laughs> Look at all the people, man, queuing to get a selfie with that building. Damn. I can understand why. It's a pretty incredible view. Ladies and gents, there you have it. My first 24 hours ever here in Singapore. I'm never going to live that experience again, my first time here. I don't know when the next time I'll be back, but I hope it's soon because this is a fantastic place from what I've seen so far. Hopefully you enjoyed this video even half as much as I enjoyed making it. Make sure you leave a like if you did, and we will see you in the next one. For now, do it with me. Take care.